Welcome to this Lumion 9.3 video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to install and use the LiveSync plugin for Vectorworks. The first thing you do is download the plugin. Go to the Lumion homepage, Support and Learning, Downloads. In this list, you will find the download link for the Vectorworks plugin. Click on the Lumion LiveSync for Vectorworks executable, and the plugin is installed in your Vectorworks plugin folder. Now we start Vectorworks. The Lumion LiveSync plugin is available, but still needs to be made visible in one of the tool sets of the user interface. To do that, go to Tools, Workspaces, Edit Current Workspace, Click on Tools. Click on Rendering. Here is the Lumion LiveSync plugin. To make it available, we need to drag it to the right-hand side to one of the tool sets of the user interface. For example, Basic, View Draw, drag and drop it here. Press OK. Now here you have the Lumion LiveSync plugin available for use. There is a second component of the LiveSync plugin that you can also make available in the user interface, the Collada Object Exporter. You can use this in case you do not want to use the LiveSync plugin to get your design into Lumion. To make the Collada Exporter available, go again to Tools, Workspaces, Edit Current Workspace. This time, we go to Menus, Import Export, and here on the right, go to Export. On the left side, you can see here, Export Lumion Collada File. We need to drag that into this section on the right, where all the export options are listed. Now you can export any object into Lumion Collada file format for offline importing. To show you how the LiveSync plugin works, first load in one of your designs. Normally, Lumion would run on a second screen, but in this case, for the video we will show both Vectorworks and Lumion on one screen. We need to make the window smaller, so it takes up only half of the screen. Now we need to start Lumion. We need to show the Lumion window on the right part of the screen, so we need to scale the Lumion window. Start a new project with the Plain template. Go back to Vectorworks. Click on the Lumion LiveSync icon. Then click on Turn on LiveSync. Wait a few seconds, and here's your house in Lumion. Scroll out. There's a little icon that says Stop Camera Synchronization. So at the moment the camera synchronization is on, which means that the viewpoint in Vectorworks is synchronized to Lumion. Now you can start working on your scene in Lumion. You can move around the scene as you are used to. As soon as you go back to Vectorworks and manipulate the viewpoint over there, it will snap back to the Vectorworks viewpoint. Here's the same scene in Lumion after we spent a few hours to tune it up with materials, trees, and other decorating objects. In case you saved your file in Vectorworks under a different file name, for example, adding sequence number or a date at the end of the file name, and you want to re-establish the LiveSync connection with Lumion, you can still do so. Click on the house. Click on this button. 
reconnect to LiveSync. Now the house has re-established a connection between Vectorworks and Lumion, even though you saved it under a new file name. Any changes you make to the house in Vectorworks, like for example, take out a roof, and those changes will immediately be synchronized to Lumion. And in Lumion, you can manipulate the scene as usual, like putting the sun in a different position, for example, to see how the shadows will affect the look and feel of the house and its environment. This concludes this video tutorial on Lumion 9.3, where I showed how to install and use the Lumion LiveSync plugin for Vectorworks.